Hi guys, I have a haul for you today. This is like the first time I've done any makeup shopping in probably about a year, other than, you know, like making my wish list for my birthday. So I'm going to show you what I got. I have some stuff from Sephora, from Ulta, from Birchbox, and I even made a little tart purchase. So let's just go ahead and start with this box right here from Sephora. Okay, so from Sephora, I picked up this Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. They have two colors. They have a pinky one and a beigey one, but they're both super sheer. Anyway, I picked up the beige one, Beige Sunrise in 006, and it's basically just a super, super minty lip gloss, but it feels really nice on your lips. It's very pretty. I got a sample of this, and I decided that I kind of needed the full size. So I have that. And then I have two of these Bite Beauty. These are the all-in-one things. What are these actually called? Multi-stick. So I have the color Brioche and Cashew. Should we swatch these? Or should I just quickly go through everything? Let's swatch them. Come on, let's play. Okay, ooh. Oh, that's like a magnet. <gasps> that's cool, I didn't know that. I ordered this stuff online, so I didn't actually get to play with it in the store. Oh, that's super pretty. Oh, I definitely love that. Which color is this? This is brioche. Oh, I thought brioche was gonna be way more mauve. That definitely looks more of like a brownie, taupey, I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, it's pretty and I like it. Cashew, oh my gosh, these look so similar. Okay, so this one is brioche and this one is cashew. Definitely in the same color family, it's just maybe a little bit lighter. I'm gonna have to play with those, who knows. So this I talked about on my Snapchat a couple days ago. This is the Sephora brand smudger brush. It is my favorite brush for smudging out eyeliner. I just think that it works beautifully. I really like the shape of it and the density. It's a wonderful brush. And it is currently on sale at Sephora for $7. I highly recommend getting this brush and it's on sale, so you know. And then I got these, these were each 100 points. So this is from Too Faced, the Better Than Sex Mascara, which I have yet to try. I am so excited to try this mascara. Everybody raves about it. And this I actually just talked about in my empties. Did I talk about this in my empties? I know I talked about it. It was the Dior Lash Primer, which has been a holy grail thing forever. And I ran out, so I tried the Tarte one, which is fine. It's not terrible, but it's no Dior. So evidently they have changed their formula a little bit. So I was so excited to see this in the points section so I can try out the sample size and see if I love it as much as I did the other one. Okay, so that is it for Sephora. Just a teeny tiny haul. From Birchbox, I got this Whey texturizing spray. They sent me some of the Whey a beach spray or something. It was the rice powder one. I don't know. It was fine and I liked it, um, but I'm totally into texturizing sprays right now, so I really wanted to try this one. Um, so I got this one, and I bought these ones with points. And then I also got another Jouer lip cream. This is in the color Dulce de Leche, which is on my lips right now, and it's a little more pink than I was expecting, but I still really like it. This color is actually very close to Airy Fairy from Rimmel, which is one of my favorite pink lipsticks of all time. So I actually really like this. At first I was like, oh, I don't know, but it's growing on me and now I'm to the point where I'm like, oh no, I totally love this. And I love Jouer lip creams. They are the most fabulous formula and they don't transfer like at all ever. I am dying to get my hands on the new fall collection that actually just launched today. So hopefully I will be able to get some of the new ones. Okay, so moving on to Ulta. I picked up this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I am actually wearing the Pro Matte foundation right now, but I haven't tried the glow yet and everybody's been raving about it. Uh, if you want me to do a review on this, just let me know in the comments and I will totally do that for you. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm excited to try that. I also picked up this blue lippy. Again, if you follow me on Snapchat, I uh, posted some pictures of me wearing this. I looked a little ridiculous at the time. So I'm going to play with this and see if I can figure out a way to wear it. I know blue lipstick, not traditional, but I am kind of obsessed with it. I think it's so much fun. Plus I have blue hair, you know, so it kind of goes and, and I, I just, I'm gonna make this work. I am going to make this work. I'll let you guys know when I figure it out. And then the last thing I got from Ulta is this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color, and I have the color XYZ. This I love, I am obsessed with this. I put this on immediately when I got in my car after shopping at Ulta. It is so pretty. Let's see, where can I swatch this? Oh, it's actually very close to Cashew. <laughs> Look at that. 
There is the, um, there's the Bare Minerals and there's Cashew. Can you tell I like that color? Okay, so XYZ, I was actually going to get a different color but they were out of it so I ended up getting the XYZ which was the next closest thing and I'm obsessed with it. It feels a lot like the NYX Liquid Suede. I have another one of these, I can't remember the name of the color but it's like my favorite thing. It's so beautiful, I love it so much and it feels very creamy going on but it's not heavy. It's definitely not a liquid lipstick like you normally think of it's a lip cream so I've only worn it once that one time but I'm definitely going to be playing with this some more because as of right now I think that it is beautiful but a good dupe for it would be the NYX liquid suede yeah I don't know the color but the formula anyway it feels a lot like this one so moving on to Tarte I bought this the day it launched this is their new palette the works of Tarte it's so Beautiful. They, I was watching their Snapchat and they were showing this new palette the day that it launched and I was like, holy cow, I think I need that in my life. It's beautiful. And it really wasn't that expensive considering how big it is. And look at this giant mirror. It's a beautiful palette. I cannot wait to play with this. So we're super excited about that one. And then I also picked up this Lippy Lingerie. This is just a chubby stick. It's a matte one. And let me swatch this one. Oh my gosh, everything I got is in the same freaking color. <gasps> okay, now this one looks exactly like brioche. Okay, I have a problem. At least the Jouer one was a totally different color. Okay, so this is Undressed. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the same color as brioche. I think we know my favorite color. But that's it, that's my haul. So I am super excited to start playing with this stuff. Let me know if you guys want full reviews on any of this stuff. I will absolutely do that for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.